This is Yankee Prepper and today I'm going to show you the proper way to eat a mango. Many people have been no idea how to eat a mango. They're completely ignorant of it. So they avoid them. They don't pick them up. They don't want to look stupid asking questions about them so they just kind of ignore the whole thing. But don't die before trying a mango. They are a great fruit, super flavor. As a side note and bonus to this video, I want to point out that coffee and mangoes go great together. It may seem like an odd combination at first, but when you think about it, it's really not. They both grow in the same area. They both come in the season about the same time. The earthiness of a cup of coffee and a mango and its super sweetness on the side is a great combination. Try it out. Most of you are aware that I live in Minnesota and we're having a great fruit season this year. As I put in the front of this vid, we've gotten a ton of black and red raspberries coming in. Uh, we've got cherries, we've got uh, apples and peaches and plums to look forward to later on in the season. But I love mangoes and I can't grow them here. So I look forward to that season as well, which usually runs from June to July is when their season is available and you'll start seeing them in the uh, supermarkets. But there is a proper way to cut them up and eat them and there's also tricks of the trade for, uh, for picking out ripe ones. Uh, you cannot tell if a mango is ripe by the color of it. You have to do it by feel. And I'm going to point these things out to you today and instruct you how to do uh, all these things. So you won't have to be afraid to approach these fruits in your local supermarket. The only real way that you can tell if a mango is ready to eat is by feeling it. Pick it up and it should press in. This is not ready to eat yet. I can tell. It's getting soft. It's getting closer. But not quite yet. You don't want them to be like a marshmallow. You shouldn't be able to press them in like a marshmallow, but it should almost be like a dry sponge. And this one is definitely ready to eat. That's really the only way that you can tell if your mango is ripe or not. The trick to preparing a mango is knowing the anatomy of the mango. Now there is a fairly large seed inside of there and it travels along the same shape as the fruit itself. It's long and wide and bulbous in the middle. So I'm going to show you how to properly prepare this mango for eating. But before that, let's take a break and go down to the uh, state-of-the-art Yankee Prepper Investigative Lab. I want to show you just what a seed looks like so you're better prepared to dissect this mango. Try to follow along here. I'm going to try to move fast. But this is an overhead view of the mango seed. And you can see, like I was showing you in the real fruit, that it follows along in the same shape. The major difference is when you come to the side view. You can see that it follows along the shape of the fruit, but it bulges in the middle. So it starts off thin and it gets thicker. This, of course, is the side view and the overhead view of the mango seed itself. At this point, I'm going to move on to actually dissecting and preparing the mango for eating. Now, but if you don't understand what I just showed you, don't go on to this part yet. Go back in the video, watch it as many times as you have to. Uh, until you know you understand that, then move on to this part. Okay, here we go. Determine the stem end. I like to cut that off just a sliver before I start. Like that. You can see the tip of the seed right there if you cut that stem part off. Follow, much like filleting a crappie, follow along the seed. Again, if you don't understand that diagram I just showed you, which will really help in this part, go back and watch that first. You can see that I filleted it down the side of the seed. Start on the other end, looking at the top of the seed from, seed from where the stem is, and then just go down again in a filleting motion. And you have those parts to deal with. First thing I'll do is get rid of the stem portion. Then I take my seed and the flesh that's left and I skin it. And you're left with this portion. The seed is inside there covered with the flesh still. You remove this flesh portion by eating it off. The uh, connective tissue that connects the flesh to the seed is extremely durable. You don't want to try to cut this off. It just makes a mess. So remove it simply by using your teeth.
When you're done, it'll look something like this. Now to prepare the remaining halves, simply cup them, cup them in your hand, take the knife, being careful and using safety at all times, not to go through the skin. I usually cut three lines horizontally across the longest part and then vertically chopping it up like that. Again, I'll show you on this half as well in case you missed any of that. Cut them into small squares. That's perfect. A small spoon is then needed to extract the flesh from the half. Something like that. Mmm. Mm. Now, you can use this in drinks and smoothies and, you know, alongside some yogurt, whatever you want to do, but it is really good just to enjoy it like this. Even sometimes as a single fruit uh, dessert. Mmm. That's uh, incredible. Really, really, really incredible. Mmm. Really good. Mm. And that's how you remove the flesh from the skin portion. That concludes my instructions for uh, properly preparing and eating a mango. I hope that helps somebody out there the next time you see these things. They should be really cheap in your uh, local grocery store right now, and they're super good. Your kids will love them. You'll love them. You'll be fighting over them, actually. Uh, they're great to cook with as well. Uh, mango and chicken. There's all kinds of recipes that you can use with this. They actually really like it if you add a little heat to those recipes. Mango and hot pepper really goes well together. And another ingredient that uh, mangoes tend to go well with is rum. There are endless recipes out there with that. But I like them, to tell you the truth, just like this. I like to just cut them up, prepare them, eat them. Delicious. Try them out. Although these mangoes look different, I assure you that they both are mangoes. This one is more common. Uh, and this is a smaller mango. It's called a champagne mango. That's grown on the very southern tip of Mexico and the very northern tip of uh, Guatemala. And it's just a little finer, sweeter, creamier. Uh, but both of them are very good. Obviously this one gives you a lot more bang for the buck.